Save the seals! Ugh, I can't go to the beach because the seals are taking care of their babies! The beaches are closed! Why do we save these things? I don't know. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to D News Today. I'm Trace. And I'm Julia. Pretty much my whole life there have been calls to save the whales. And now it looks like we might have done it. Which is great, because no one wants one of those alien probes from Star Trek IV to come to their doorstep and try and destroy the planet. But, you know, at least we got to see Spock and Kirk in San Francisco. What? Anyway, just because an endangered species makes a comeback doesn't mean they're out of the woods. To remove a species from the endangered species list is a similar process to getting on the list. But instead of coming in below specific population goals identified by the federal government, they have to come in above those numbers. After delisting the animals, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has to monitor the animals for a minimum of five years to make sure that they are able to sustain themselves. That way, it can be easily relisted if it comes to that. Though, you know, we all hope it doesn't. That would be bad. To date, 56 species have been removed, many because they became extinct. Only 1% of all species on the list have been delisted because of recovery. But a new study in Trends in Ecology and Evolution found some endangered species could be delisted, though, for good reasons. The North Atlantic gray seal was hunted for its fur and called for an alleged connection to disease in fish populations. But gray seal populations were once as low as maybe a thousand individuals, and now, thanks to conservation efforts, populations have blossomed into above a hundred thousand or even as many as a quarter million. When seals breed, they leave their white furry pups on the beach while they forage for food, returning to nurse. Mother seals are skittish, and they avoid returning to their hungry pups if humans or their dogs approach it, preferring to wait until they believe it's safe. This then means that although they're recovering, parts of New England beaches are inaccessible to humans during pupping season, and that pisses people off. Some people. Now there are calls by local residents to start culling and hunting the population. We just saved them from extinction, people. Let them use a beach for a few weeks a year. Sheesh. It's not just the seals. In 1975, there were as few as 25 gray wolves in the Great Lakes region, but today, there are thousands, thanks to robust conservation efforts. Limits on trapping, hunting, and killing of wolves were so successful, the wolves were controversially delisted in January of 2012. Since then, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has monitored the wolves and found a decline of 20% or more across Minnesota and Wisconsin, mainly due to human-caused mortality. Hunting wolves is legal, but this exceeds the allowed number. So, basically, we recovered all these great animals, and now humans are killing the wolf population we all fought to rebuild. So in 2014, after more than 1,500 wolves were killed in Wisconsin and Minnesota, the decision was reversed and the wolves were put back on the endangered species list. No more hunting or trapping of wolves will be allowed. In Michigan, in comparison, only 73 were killed and less than half of those were by hunters. And let's be honest, seals affect fishermen, eating the same fish they would catch, reducing fish populations, and wolves and humans have a far more complicated history. But everybody wants to save the whales, right? Wrong! Humpback whales hit an all-time low in the 90s of around 1,000 and have been on the endangered species list since 1970. But now they're closer to 22,000 across 14 separate populations. Yay! But as Babar the elephant said, too much of a good thing is often too much to bear. I still don't know what Babar is. It's a great show. You should watch it. The Alaska Department of Fish and Game are asking for 10 of the 14 population groups around the world to be delisted because dealing with the regulations is a hassle for the oil and fishing industries, but environmentalists disagree. Hawaii is on board with this delisting as well, and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, is also proposing it. Though, they're quick to point out, they'd still be protected under the Marine Mammals Protection Act. So it's not open season, but it's still a big deal. Whales are giant, majestic, intelligent mammals, and if you've ever seen one, they're incredible. Luckily, one of our sister shows, This Happened Here, talked to a photographer who got up close with these creatures. This photo is taken in August off the island of Vava'u in the kingdom of Tonga. This is an image moments after this juvenile humpback whale took a sharp turn to avoid smashing into me. How do you feel about conserving these animals? You can let us know down in the comments and subscribe for more D News videos every single day of the week. Thank you for watching.